Paul, through to another FA Cup quarter final at this uh, at this club. What did you make of your team's performance tonight? Yeah, I thought we were fantastic. Really, really strong. The, the most pleasing thing, um, without a doubt, was the composure we showed with with the ball. Listen, the three centre backs were outstanding. Wing backs, great. You know, we defended as a team without the ball, but. Uh, the bravery to get on the ball as well from the back, the centre backs, and, and play through that that young midfield. But they can all handle the football, and, and we had to do that. So that that was the most pleasing thing, and, and that started from the first minute and continued to the last. Yeah, you seem to to set a tone right from the start, but also grow into the game certainly from an attacking sense in confidence. Mm. Yeah, we, listen, we were good. I, I, the frustrations in the first half were just that there weren't enough forward runs. However. Um, we were really clear how we wanted to be without the ball as well. But the bravery we were showing to get on the ball was was probably limiting the forward runs. Everyone was just desperate to get a touch and run into the ball. We needed one or two to be going in behind. And you see the chance from Izzy, that was his first running behind in, in the first 45 minutes. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. So that, that was the one frustration in, in the first half. Um, but it's not a criticism because, like I said, there was lots of bravery there and how we played and performed. and. And as you say, we carried that on into the second half and just gradually got you know, more and more uh, control higher up the pitch and it allowed us to make a few more passes around the Spurs box. He's having a special season, Illiman and Jai, but that's a, a very special goal he scored tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big goal because, yeah, listen, the cup, the, the opposition, uh, it's got us through to the next round. So, yeah, it's a big, big moment. It's a different audience in the FA Cup. Uh, so all those things make it a big goal. Um, yeah, but as I say, it's just we, the atmosphere that we wanted tonight we got from the performance of the players, the away fans, especially the home fans, um, and there's a different feeling about the FA Cup. And I said, we tried to approach it different and, and enjoy every game, see it as what it is, a break from that four to six game intense slog the Championship is. Um, and we'll do the same in the next round as well. But, but with that, we've got that home draw. We want the same feeling, the same atmosphere in the ground again, you know. There's less tension. Everyone could come with a smile on their face, enjoy it, get behind the players, and hopefully um, we can progress again. It's one of the most pleasing factors tonight the fact that you did make eight changes. You've given a full debut to Andre Brooks, another start for yeah. Ishmael Koulibaly, and you've still done what you've done. Yeah, but listen, you, the, the game has changed as such in terms of um, just how intense football is now, the, dis the physical demands on players and, and mental demands, and this season's been different with the schedule in so many double game weeks. So I hear about a lot about when you when you change a team, uh, like rotating, but it's also for, to keep performance levels high. You know, the players, if we'd have gone with the same team that went flat out on Saturday against a good Watford side, who's to say we'd have got that same form? So there's there's reasons for it in protecting players, without a doubt, the injuries, but there's also reasons for it to try and generate performance. And and we and we saw that tonight in hunger and, and drive and that, that togetherness and spirit, which is what we're all about. Why was tonight the night to give Andre Brooks his, his first start? He's the next in line. We, we, what, why not? Um, listen, I've never been shy. We'd have had. We were lucky to give another one, but we couldn't get the, the registration done. Um, we were lucky to give another one a go, but but we, but we couldn't do it. We, uh, yeah, he's, he's just the next in line, and and his challenge now is to get established in the team, and established in the squad, because he knows what we think of him as a player. Um, and he can be pleased with what he did today against the top side. I understand that was the first of a three-match touchline ban. How did you find it from the gantry? Well, the players made it easy for me today, didn't they? Uh, listen, it doesn't change anything how we approach it, you know, how we prepare. I'm in the dressing room before the game, I'm in at half-time. It doesn't make it's just me who suffers, really. Um, but as I said, the players made it, yeah, they made it easy for me today. Another word just on the, the atmosphere tonight. You know, twenty eight thousand again mm. inside Bramley, but bustling away end. It, it, it was a, a kind of special night under the lights, and that's what you kind of build it as beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Listen, the FA, it's, it's different. It's got a different vibe. The fact we we drew Spurs as well, the fourth in the Premier League, um, the stars that they bring. Um, yeah, I knew it'd be a good night and one for the fans to enjoy. I'm just pleased that we've got the result to back that, and, and the fans can take that as theirs. You know, that's for them, um, and turn out again in the in the next round. Um, it's different, you know. It's not your, it's not your uh, season ticket holders. It's, it's different fans, different opportunities, and they have to put their hands in the pocket again to come. Um, so that's appreciated very much. But we can deliver and we can perform like that, and then everyone goes away happy.